guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Subscribe me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennessee Shuichi's Path. So, y'all, let's go ahead and just jump right back into it, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next, 18, for the next uh, 15 to 16 minutes while entertaining you. Let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Okay. So, what do you guys want to do? Going back and forth in the middle of the matches would be annoying, but we could do it. Nah, I think it'd be easier for us to split up. We can keep each other updated through messaging. True, that would work too. Sure would be easier, and I wouldn't have to feel bad about missing one of their matches if I'm getting frequent updates on it. Which one do you want to go to, Jun-san? You're asking me? Yeah, I figured it'd be better for you to pick one and go with Aniki to watch it together with the, to watch it together, the two of you. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter which of the matches I watch as long as I get to be there for one of them. Huh? Hang on a second. If we're splitting up, shouldn't you be going with June instead of the other way around? Yeah, we can't leave a little kid alone. No offense, June san but after the incident on the bus, I think he needs supervision more than I do. No! What the hell happened? Nothing. Nothing. That's very suspicious. It'll be fine. Besides, my friends and coaches from club are going to be somewhere around here too. I always, I can always get together with them if you really don't want me to be alone. Oh, right, I forgot about them. Is it? Is this really okay? If Haki's with his friends from his club, then I guess it's not that much of a problem. Besides, even if I wanted to argue, I know Aniki, I knew Aki would just dig his heels on it, dig his heels in on it, and we really don't have time for it right now. In that case, I want to go watch for a case case san If you're sure about that, then we should hurry. We have a few minutes left before they start. They're probably already warming up. But right. Remember to message message me at the updates. I want to know how case case san is doing too. Sure, just remember Saya's match is in court too in the main building. Shouldn't be hard to find it. I've been here before, you know. I quickly pat Aki on the head, almost immediately getting my hand pushed away by him. He then turns around and walks off, jogging towards the building entrance and quickly disappearing from our sight. We should get going too if we don't want to miss the start of the match. Okay. June and I quickly head inside, finding Keisuke's court really quickly. Considering his position as a seated player in the male division, his match attracted a bit more attention than some of the others around him. Even before it officially started, there was already a small gathering of people watching from behind the fence. Are there really no seats? Nope, not really. You'd really, you'd only really find courts with seated areas in bigger events like the All Japan Junior. And that one takes a full week to get through since there are fewer courts to host matches in due to having set at seating areas. Blah! I was hoping I wouldn't have to stand the whole time like the last one. I give June a quick pat on the back, not bothering to look his way. I said I'd focus my intention on Keisuke, on Keisuke and his last and his own. Opponent, as they're already taken to the court and are hitting the ball back and forth between one another, warm themselves up. <laughs> That's good. Kaken looks relaxed. He does? Yeah, his movements are loose and fluid. He tends to lock up and go stiff whenever he's upset or nervous. It really hurts the quality of his ground strokes. I see. Just a couple minutes after our arrival, the Empire announces that the match is about to begin, calling for both players to come to the center of the court so that they can flip a coin. From, th from this far back, I can't tell what is happening, but once I see Case K put a few balls in his pocket and walk to his usual spot just behind the service line, I know he's the one taking the first serve. Once they are given the official go-ahead, Kaken takes his first serve, hitting his opponent with a wide slice that slices on the ground and attempts to slip away from the court. His opponent, a mouse, about a head shorter than Keisuke and a little lither as well, manages to catch up to the ball, if only just barely, tapping it back in a slice that lands far too shallow to be of any concern. Keisuke wastes no time in attacking the ball, beginning his pattern of systematically breaking his opponent's game apart, using precise and varied shots to keep them guessing and outside their comfort zone. All in all, he's refined his playstyle a huge deal since the last time I played him during the first day of class a few months ago. The hesitation, clumsiness, and impatience that I'd seen him seen in him back then are nowhere to be found. For the next 50 minutes, I watched KSK consistently demolish his opponent, thoroughly dominating the match during his during both his serving and his receiving games. Part of me feels a bit badly for the guy he's playing against. The poor mouse looked completely unfazed, uh, completely demoralized by the 10-minute mark. Keisuke ends, with, uh, ends up winning with a commanding 6-2, 6-1 score, probably one of his best results all year. Having finished his match and greeted his opponent afterward, Keisuke walks out of the court so the officials can start preparing it for the next set of players. Keisuke notices us and quickly comes our way, raising a hand in greeting while wearing a self-satisfied grin on his face, a towel still hanging on the back of his neck. Ah, so you guys came to watch my match after all. Why wouldn't we? I wouldn't have blamed you if you wanted to watch Mizuguchi-san play, that's all. You did really well, Keisuke-san. That actually went by a lot faster than I thought it would. You seem pretty in control out there. Your serve was extra sharp today. Yes, well, I will admit to feeling pretty good today. It's like something's clicked. 
I felt this. I felt like this since this morning. Ah, yeah, I know that feeling. It's like this big, satisfying moment where your mind goes clear and your body seems to react a lot faster than usual. What of Mizuguchi-san? Do you know how her match is going? I can't imagine it taking much longer than mine. Aki's last message was a few minutes ago. He said the score was currently 3-1 to one in the second set and that Saya had just broken her opponent's serve game. What of the first set? What was the score? Uh, 6-3. to three. Oh, her opponent managed to win three whole games during the first set. That's surprising. Saya takes a bit to get her engine running, you know that. What about you, Yuichi-san? When does your game start? I'm supposed to be playing on court four of the main building. I'm just waiting for, now for the, them to text me, letting me know the matches on the court on the court is over. They text you? Yeah, otherwise it'd be difficult to keep track of the players as they go around watching the matches between the two buildings. It's a lot more efficient than hiring a bunch of extra people to go around calling players when it's their turn to play. I guess that makes sense. Come on, if Mizuguchi-san's match isn't over, then I want to catch the end of it. Okay, okay, don't rush. Keisuke grabs me by the wrist, tugging me along to get me up to, sp to get me to speed up and nearly causing me to stumble. I wouldn't have it if you weren't so slow. I wouldn't have to if you weren't so slow. Perhaps still riding the high from his first round win, Keisuke laughs at my flimsy objection, continuing to pull me along like some kind of kid. It's somewhat refreshing to see him let loose like this, but also mildly disturbing. June follows along behind us, watching the whole scene unfold without any indication of surprise or embarrassment, like the whole thing is completely normal to him. His underwhelmed reaction only serves to make me feel even more awkward for finding this strange. You're pretty excited, huh? Of course I am. I can feel the adrenaline coursing through my body. I can feel I feel unbeatable. I'm happy that you feel that way, but seriously, do you have to keep dragging me by the hand? I don't know. Think you can keep up? I'm not an invalid. I can't laugh right now. It'd, make, it'd just start making me hiccup. Let's get my feet comfy. Feet! Damn it, feet. Okay, all right. I know that. I'm just pulling your leg. I'm not so sure about that. Uh, you would you, son? At the sound of my name being called, Keisuke lets go of my wrist, freeing me up to spin around to try and find the source of the voice calling out to me. Man, it really is you! It must be my lucky day! I didn't even think I'd find you in the middle of all these people, at least not until the members went, w went way down. Uh, hey! The, hey there, you you, you can. Jeez, was he always this energetic? Did I forget about it or something? I just got done with my first match a couple minutes ago. I won in straight sets. Isn't that awesome? Straight sets? Are you serious? Against Kitayama? Number three seed Kitayama? Yep. Seven to five and seven to six. Holy crap. That's a very tight score, but but even then. Kitayama can is a good player. I wouldn't expect to lose I wouldn't expect him to lose the very first round, especially in straight sets. Is that really that impressive? The case game went in straight sets too. Yes, but I was playing against an unranked opponent. Kitayama is the number three seed, meaning he's the third highest ranked player in this competition. You don't usually expect them to, loo them to lose in straight sets. Ooh, I think I got it. It's good to see you too, Keisuke-san. Keisuke-kun. Keisuke-kun? So you also won your first match. That's great. I had a lot of fun when we played against each other last time. Looking forward to playing against you again. That's... Hmm. I appreciate it. I'm looking forward to it as well. Man, I really am lucky. I get to play against both of you. While laughing and celebrating boisterously, boisterously to himself... Yuikun says something that, at face value, is almost innocuous. Except for the fact that it makes Keisuke's eyes immediately glaze over, his whole face scrunching up on reflex. That's, um, isn't that a bit rude to say? Huh? What do you mean? I, I mean, you said you're looking forward to playing against both of us. Doesn't that mean you're basically declaring you'll beat Keikun already? You have to beat him to get to me, after all. Yeah? So? Oh boy. It's not completely clueless to the oblivious frustration showing on Keisuke's face. Yuya kind of continues to talk with a smile on his face. I won't have that many more chances to play against you since I'm assuming you'll be going professional after you graduate. It'll take me a couple years before I can catch up to you, so I have to take any so I have to take my chance for a revenge match. That's all fine and good, but I practiced a whole lot since the last time we played against each other, Yuichi san. I'm confident that I'm way better now. I'm sure I won't disappoint you. Disappoint? It's not like I have a vested interest in playing against you one way or another. If anything, I'm more worried about just how quiet Kagan has gotten. It feels like standing right next to a ticking time bomb. But what's the matter? You're being so quiet! Yukon, perhaps sensing something is wrong, cocks his head to the side. His overt, th his overt enthusiasm starting to ebb as he seems to interpret my lack of reaction to my lack of, in to lack of interest. Which, okay, maybe he's half right. Sorry, I just caught, he just caught us when we were on our way to the other building. We wanted to catch the end of our friend's match. 
Aw, oh, that's a shame. I was hoping we could hang out for a bit. Yeah, 100%. What a shame. A smile on your face tells a very different story, Kagan. Maybe we'll see each other later, Yuyukin. Good luck with the other matches. Yeah, good luck for you guys, too. Yuyukin heads down, heads on the opposite direction, leaving the three of us alone once again. I'm going to destroy him. Those are the first words out of Keisuke's mouth, all that barely a second after Yuyukin stepped out of earshot. Jesus, Keisuke. So, it wasn't just me that felt super awkward. Awkward? Not at all. No? Try enraged. Um... Wow, he's really pissed to pissed you off, huh? I'm used to being discounted. I don't care if it's someone. I don't care if it's someone who's in a position to look down on me doing it. Just means, just means I have something to prove. But I hate that guy. But I hate that a younger guy than me, who isn't even ranked in this competition, is looking down on me. I can get that. Yeah. I just have. To, I just have no idea what to say here. I'm not used to dealing with you when you're angry. Maybe you, we should hurry. Uh, hurry and meet up with Saya-chan. Yeah, I agree. I'm pretty sure June and I are sharing a wavelength on this Saya will know how to handle Keiken. At least that is the hope. We make our way to the other building, making a beeline straight for Saya's court. Take advantage of the fact that we're passing by the court. I'll be having my match in to glance at the current score while we're on the way. They're halfway through the third set. It shouldn't be that much longer until I'm called then. Keisuke sulks the whole time, not saying a word as June and I try to make conversation and attempt to, enlight and attempt to lighten the mood. However, by the time we get to Saya's court, we find her already standing outside along with along with Aki. Damn it! Did we miss the end of our match? Hey there, strangers. You did. Yeah. It was awesome. For the final point, Saya's opponent hit a drop shot, and when Saya rushed to get rushed to the net to get to it, the other girl returned a lob over her. Saya had to run after the ball. She had a tweener to score the point. Everyone went nuts. A tweener? What's that? That's when you hit the ball between your legs. Sometimes you don't have time to turn around and hit a regular ground stroke, so you have to hit the ball between your legs while your back is facing your opponent. Oh, and Kaken's back online. Whoa, that sounded really hard! It is! Aw, you guys are flattering me too much. <laughs> Actually, no one said a word of praise at you. They just com commented on uh, what, you did, uh, what you did is hard to do. Same difference. We were just about to head to your court, Aniki. We wanted to see how far they were from finishing up there. Oh, yeah, we passed by it on our way here. Uh, they're halfway through the third set, so it shouldn't be too much longer. Yeah, I'll probably get called over any moment now. What about your match, Kaken? Ekikun told me you won, but how was it? It was fine. Just fine? That's not what Aniki's text, text said. We played. I won. It was fine. Right. Did something happen? Yes. <laughs> You'll have to forgive Kaken. We ran into someone on the way here, and they got him in a bad mood. Don't, be, don't go apologizing for me. That's rude. All right, Spill, what happened? At least Saya-chan is, is quick on the uptake. She immediately jumps on it, trying to defuse Kaken before he blows up. Although the process does involve a lot of one-word answers on his part, it's a good thing Saya has a lot of patience when it comes to this sort of thing. Hmm. I don't know who this is. One second, y'all. Hello. Hello. Well, all right then. No one answered. Okay. If Shuichi were here, he probably would have snapped at Kaken at least twice by now. Do we really have to keep talking about this? Can't we head to Yuichi San's court already? No, we can't. Besides, I'm guessing you haven't gone to the front desk to report your match results yet either. What's the point? The officials already do that anyway. They know the results long before we get there. It's about etiquette. Showing respect to the officials working on this since most of them are volunteering in the first place. Whatever. No, not whatever. You're not going to act like a spoiled brat just because someone was rude to you and you're pouting. You are Now you are coming, to, coming with me to report your match results, or do I need to drag you by your ear like a toddler? Uh-oh, she snapped. Calm down, Mizugu. Don't you dare tell me to calm down. You just say, yes, ma'am, shut up, and come with me. Yes, ma'am. Oh god, she's terrifying. With a short-lived rebellion nipped at the bud, Kaken follows along obediently behind Sai as she stomps her way to the registration area. Whoa! And poor Keisuke-san. He has no one to blame but himself. Anyone could have seen that coming. Sai-chan can be terrifying when she's angry. Not much ought to be common knowledge by now. If anything, he's lucky to have come out of it, and mostly, out of it mostly unscathed. 
The only things hurt here were his pride and his courage. After seeing that, I'm shocked that you guys have the courage to antagonize Mizuguchi-san as often as you do. This and that are completely different things. We've known Saya for years. We know where the limits are. Do you? I know I've only known you guys for a few months, but I've watched you get hit at least a handful of times by now. That's even the smartest men can, can miscalculate at times. And everyone who knows you also knows that you're anything but that. That's a low blow. Hmm, maybe a little. I grab Aki by the shoulder, grinding my fist against the top of his head. However, since I could never bring myself to actually hurt him, I end up being gentle to the point of only making him laugh. Oh no, I've definitely learned my lesson now! You can be such a brat sometimes. Nuh-uh. Do you... Uh, do you guys really have time for this? Don't you... Didn't you say you might get called any moment now? Hang on, let me check. I reach into my bag, pulling out my phone, and... What? He's right! There's a message from the front desk delivered a few minutes ago! Alright, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, bring that notification bell, and a super thanks, or tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!